With the beginning of the new Fortnite season, there are tons of issues and a lot of people complain about stutter, FPS drops and lag in general guys. So therefore in today's video, I'm going to show you a few simple steps everyone can do in order to actually fix lag and get no FPS stutter here in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. guys in the first place we're going to use one of the basic windows repair tools to actually check if our pc might not actually be the issue so therefore what i want you to do in the first place is go into windows search bar and just simply tap in power until we find windows powershell and we open it up this is like sort of like an advanced cmd and what are we going to do now is type in here sfc then like spacebar dash scan now exactly like this here written guys i'm probably going to put it as well in the description you know and then just simply head enter here on your key guys real quick and then you can see beginning system scan. This process will take some time. Beginning with verification um, phase of system scan. And this process now is going to search on RPC if there are some issues, you know, some missing files maybe, or some other steps which could actually like cause us stutter in Fortnite. So therefore, we're just simply going to let this run now until it's done here. It's super, super fast. Of course, depending on how fast your Windows PC is, and once it's actually finished guys, it's going to tell us if there are some issues and then automatically repair it. And this is it for the first step, now let's continue with the next one. For this next step guys, we need to actually open our Fortnite installation folder. So therefore what are we going to do is open up our file explorer, click here onto local disk C, then we're going to scroll down until we find program files, press E for Epic Games, Fortnite, then we have Fortnite game, binaries, Windows 64, and then we're going to scroll down here guys. And in there now we have all the access which are somehow related to Fortnite, and what are we going to do in the first place is right click here onto Fortnite Client Windows 64 Shipping Exe. Go into Properties, guys. And once we're here under Compatibility, please make sure that we have here Disable Full Screen Optimization, guys. Super, super important. And you actually have to enable the same feature now for each and every single one here besides the Fortnite launcher itself. So for the rest of the other ones, you know, Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then here again as well, go into Properties. And then here, Compatibility. Disable full screen optimization. And for most people, this can already fix them having their game crashing or having stutter. So therefore, guys, let's continue now with the next step. And in this next step, guys, we're going to deactivate the game bar here on our Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. It literally works for both. And what we're going to do in the first place is go into our Windows search bar and just simply type in game until we find game mode setting. And once you're in here, guys, you're just simply going to click here again onto gaming. For you on Windows 10, it should look more or less the same. We're just simply going to click onto it. And then we have here actually now Xbox game bar capture and game mode in the first place we're gonna go here under xbox game bar guys and make sure that it's actually disabled here on the top guys you can see it here off literally the only thing you have to do and then afterwards if it's for you still enabled guys please also disable your capture feature i entirely removed it here actually from my windows so therefore i don't even have the option anymore and for you it should still be here like available just simply make sure to deactivate it and then we're gonna go here next to game mode guys and also make sure that your windows game mode is actually enabled super super important all three of these here are gonna work perfectly now to get at these settings. And now let's continue with the next step. And for this next step, guys, we're actually going to delete our DirectX shader cache because this can actually cause so much stutter in Fortnite, especially after new season. So therefore, what are we going to do in the first place is go again here into a Windows search bar and just simply type in disk until we find disk cleanup. Click onto it and let it work here real quick. In the background, it's gonna check like your whole entire PC for files which can be deleted. And in here now, we should have DirectX shader cache. And this is super important. Because as it says here already, clean up files created by the graphics system which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. But sometimes guys, there might actually be errors, so therefore cleaning up your shader cache once in a while can be super useful. So therefore make sure that it's selected, click here onto OK, and it's gonna ask you, are you sure that you want to permanently delete these files? Click onto delete files and it's only gonna take like a short while until it gets completely deleted. And the next time you're going to launch Fortnite afterwards, these files actually get restored again, but with a brand new fresh copy. So therefore, yeah, it should be fixed then. And yeah, guys, in this next step, I want you to click on the first link in the description where you can find my website. And what I want you to do here is go on the top and click onto FPS Boost, which is going to redirect you. And then afterwards, just simply scroll down here, guys, and there you should find a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. Again, click onto it, scroll down a little bit until you can find the download button, which should redirect you to Google Drive, guys, from where you can download a zip file. If it's not a zip file, it's like a Chrome extension or some stuff like that. So therefore, yeah. Once you get it on your PC, it should look exactly like this here. Fix stutter in season three. So therefore, what are we going to do is rightly onto it and extract it all here onto our desktop. So we have the file here. 
And in there now guys, we have a few simple tweaks, just making sure that our PC is running actually at its fullest potential. And also super important guys, disabling DVR1, because this can cause so much stutter for so many people. So therefore, what are we going to do guys is apply all of these registry tweaks here, step by, wait. So therefore, what are we going to do guys is now click on every single of these registry tweaks and apply it here on our PC guys. They are 100% safe, just making sure that your PC is running as fast and smooth as possible. And especially disabling DVR1 is gonna literally fix this for so many people. The next up game optimization as well gonna enable it. And RAM speed, just making sure that our RAM is also working at 100%. And now you have pretty much the fastest and smoothest experience possible guys. And I hope that your FPS starter is fixed now. Let me know down in the comment section below. Other than that, you can also join the Discord server, guys. We are 70,000 people there. So if you should still have any more issues, my mod team can definitely help you out, guys. And with that said, we're done here. And yeah, guys, real quick, I just want to mention, since I see so many comments still, and as well under the best comp settings guide I just made yesterday, there are so many people who complain right now about FPS drops, guys. Literally, the season just got released. Like, I mean, that's literally the whole purpose of a preseason, you know? We have like two and a half weeks until arena points even get reset, you know? That's like the whole point of this, guys. You gotta give them at least like, I don't know, like a week time so they can do like micro adjustments in the next updates, you know? Most likely, we're gonna have a next update on Wednesday next week. So therefore, yeah, that's like probably how long you have to wait until we can see better performance. We can even see it here right now in the background, guys. On my PC, I mean, just literally pull up any video from Chapter 3 Season 2 and you can see I had super stable 240 FPS or 237, what I have it mostly locked on. And yeah, you can see here right now, I'm even struggling to get like solid 160 FPS. So therefore you can see it guys here, like on my 3070 Ti and Ryzen 7 5800X, that shouldn't even be an issue, but somehow it is. So therefore you can just see how bad the performance actually is right now. So as mentioned, give them at least like a few days off and then it should be better 100%. And if you guys still need any more help, as mentioned, you can join the Discord or ask me as well on Discord. And with that said, we're pretty much done here. I hope that this video still helped you out, guys. If so, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And also, actually, don't forget to check out the Stripes 2.0, guys, because I have a channel specifically only for low-end PCs. And you would help me out so much if you could subscribe, guys. We're super close to a 1,000 subscribers. It would just help me out so, so much, guys, with this whole entire YouTube thing. So, therefore, please take those two seconds to subscribe over there. And as mentioned, if you still have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. And yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here. Have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.